look at Nasdaq, so I'm just taking the same chart as Bitcoin and Nasdaq, but this is daily. Bitcoin is a little bit ahead uh, of this team. I think that the market is somewhere here right now. It's in overbought condition for the second time after this of one, two. And here we had this ETF news. And then we had some kind of reaction in line with just everything. With this strength, with this impulse, with this impulse, this impulse, this strength, this impulse, this strength, this strength. So we're kind of repeating this, just the market is a little bit behind. And we could have a reaction here to the mean let's say to the new stride of sorts and then still continue to the upside based on your stage three analysis would you think that this is what to expect yes that even though there's likely corrections along the way that i think that bitcoin and nasdaq 100 appear to want to top to trend in lockstep which makes perfect sense to me ramon because the nasdaq 100 is very much a speculative index and when there's interest and speculation in the markets, the funds flow to the NASDAQ, NASDAQ 100, the MAG7, and so on. And Bitcoin has highly correlated to that, but even moves faster. The animal spirits that affect the NASDAQ 100 are also at work in Bitcoin, but maybe even in a bigger way because the ups and downs are uh, more volatile. They're bigger. And so it makes perfect sense to me that they would operate pretty much in lockstep to each other.